Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stamp or duplicate a specific object, or any object rather, around a circle using Inkscape. Okay, so um, first, of course, you're going to need an object. In this case, we're going to be using this black arrow. Um, ac actually, let's go ahead and make that just a little shorter. There we go. It was a little tall to begin with. So once you have your object selected that you want to duplicate, you can actually select it again. And for many of you that have already used Inkscape, um, if you select something twice, you're going to get these arrows here that is going to allow you to rotate this from its center point. Okay, the center point being this cross. The nice thing about this though is you can actually move this cross anywhere you want. So if you move it over here and start to rotate, it will rotate around wherever that cross is moved to. Now, if you've moved the cross and you want it back to the very center of your object, just hold down the shift key and click and it'll slap it right back in the middle of its origin. Um, so what we're going to do is to um, make this revolve all the way around. We're actually gonna Hold down control and we're going to drag this down to the bottom and that's that holding control down is just locking that in the vertical axis that way it's not leaving the center point and of course if we go ahead and hold this down in this rotation we can actually rotate that now if you want to hold the control key again doing this it will jump 15 degree increments and so the farther away that the rotation is the larger the space is going to be because it is of course 15 degrees here um, and to duplicate this you actually just tap the space bar so every time that you tap the space bar it will put down and you can even skip a couple tap there and so you don't have to you know copy and paste and do a whole bunch of different commands and it gives you this nice little pattern here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and actually, instead of control Z all the way back, we're actually just gonna delete everything that we're not using and go back to this one. Now, if we double click this one more time, you can see that this um, cross, that's rotation center is down toward the bottom, we'll remove it. If we go, go ahead and shift click that and it'll bring it back to that center. Now, let's say that you've got a circle already predetermined. You've got a size that you that you already know you want to um, you want to use. So we're going to go ahead and make a circle, um, and we're going to go ahead and make this 100 millimeters. Let's go ahead and lock that first. 100 millimeters, and we want to make this arrow um, around this 100 millimeter circle. So what we're going to do is we're, we need to make some an adjustments to line this up first. We only need one for right now. All right, so now that we're, we're gonna go ahead and align these. Um, and in doing so, what we need is bring up the Align and Distribute menu. If you don't have this um, little window here, like I've got my um, workspace set up, the icon is right here, Align and Distribute. So we're gonna go ahead and click the arrow first while holding Shift, we're then gonna click the circle. Make sure the last selected is selected, that way the arrow moves and not the circle. And we're going to click this icon here, align bottom edges of objects to the top edge of the anchor. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now what that does for us, it aligns this bottom edge here to the very top edge of here. So that way when we move this over, you can see that it, if we zoom in a little bit, it is lined with the top of the circle. You can, of course, move this down just a little bit so it's inside the circle if you're wanting that kind of look. But in this case, we're going to leave it... Um, the way it is. So now that we've got that aligned with the top, we can actually go ahead and select both of these once again, selecting the circle the second time. That way the last selected is going to be the object that stays put. So I know this is going to be kind of confusing when you're using the align and distribute menu. Just remember if you keep last selected on this little drop down selected, whatever object you select last is going to the, be the object that stays in its relative location. So if we go ahead and align vertically. You can see that the arrow shifted over and not the circle. If we did that with first selected, you can see that the circle moves. So we're gonna go ahead and like I said, last selected, vertical axis, that way we have everything centered and we have the bottom of this um, sitting right on top of that circle. And we can go ahead and deselect that. Now, another thing that we're gonna need to do 
change setting on is our snapping. If you don't have snapping on, you need to go ahead and turn it on by clicking this on, this icon here, enable snapping. And then we're gonna go ahead and click this one here, snap an items rotation center. So it's gonna go ahead and click that. We're gonna go and highlight our arrow one more time, click it a second time that way we get our rotation cross. We're gonna zoom in just a little bit. Go ahead and grab this. You don't have to hold control because that's gonna to snap to that circle. So let's go ahead and find the circle center. And there it is, of course, because it snapped to that because we turned our snap on. And now if we rotate this, I'm gonna go ahead and hold control. If we rotate this, it rotates around the perfect circle that we've created. So let's go ahead and every 30 degrees. Oop. There we go, gives it a nice, we can actually delete our extra one. Um, and so what we can do then is we can actually shift and while holding shift down, we can click all of these and we can change these relative to the center of that. So if you move this up and down, you can actually change the size of the arrows and you can bring those out just a little bit. That way we can come off of the circle if you're wanting, you know, a little space here. Or if you, you know, want to keep the same size of the arrows before you do all of your stamping, you can, of course, just move that first arrow up just a little bit. And then you'd have to reposition um, your, <clears throat> your center point for your rotation. So if you go ahead and pull this over um, away from where that center point is, click it one more time, you can see that that anchor point has moved along with the object, so it's not gonna stay to that circle. So you have to go ahead and move that back if you're wanting to do, you know, maybe another layer of objects. You know, you, you can play with it. <clears throat> of course, like I say in a lot of the videos, especially with a lot of these creative how-tos, make it your own, have fun with it, and that's all there is to it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. It helps us a lot here at Misfit Studios, and we will see you guys next time.